Welcome to the OmniSight tutorial for OmniBeacon installation. When you first receive your OmniBeacon, make sure to verify the contents of the box. Inside you will find the user's manual, the mounting gasket, and optionally the large hole sealing kit, which is used when replacing an existing alarm light. You will also find the OmniBeacon with its wiring harness and impact guard cage, and the accessory bag, which includes the 6 volt backup battery, the battery bracket, two quick connect terminals, four stainless bolts with matching nuts and neoprene washers, and two self-tapping screws. In order to complete installation, you will also need several tools, like a drill, a 3 16th bit, a 3 quarter inch hole saw, a Phillips and standard screwdriver, a pencil or marker, a pair of pliers, an adjustable wrench, and a wire stripping and cutting tool. To begin installation, open your control panel and turn off the power at the primary breaker. Open the interior of the panel so that you may identify a place that is clear on the top of the panel and inside the top of the panel that will allow you to install the OmniBeacon. Next, identify a free place inside the panel to mount the battery. Use the battery bracket to mark the mounting holes before using your drill to drill pilot holes for the self-tapping screws. Now use the self-tapping screws to mount the battery bracket into the back of your panel. Using the provided gasket and your pencil or marker, trace the five holes on the top of your panel. Using the hole saw and 3 16 inch bit, drill out the five holes. Place the gasket back on top of the panel and line it up with the five holes you just drilled. Now, remove the conduit nut and thread the OmniBeacon wiring harness through the large center hole. Place the OmniBeacon on top of the gasket, ensuring that the conduit fitting passes through the gasket and the large hole in the panel. Also ensure that the feet of the OmniBeacon line up with the feet on the gasket. Now place the four neoprene washers onto each of the four mounting bolts and place them through the feet of the OmniBeacon. Next, place the impact cage on top of the OmniBeacon and slide it down firmly into place. Using pliers and a Phillips screwdriver, tighten the base of the cage. Next, install the four lock nuts onto the four mounting bolts inside the panel. Now, thread the OmniBeacon wiring harness through the conduit nut and tighten it onto the bottom of the OmniBeacon. Now is a good time to place the battery into the pocket that you previously installed. Plug the provided leads into the OmniBeacon wiring harness. Make sure to line up the tabs on the male and female connectors for each connection. You will now want to identify where each of the wires from your wiring harness will land inside your panel. The red and blue leads will go to the two terminals on the battery, the orange and yellow wires will go to alarm contacts within your panel, the black lead will land on a 120 volt source, in this panel we are using the lightning arrestor, the green lead will land on the panel ground, and the white lead will land on the panel neutral. Cut the leads to length to reach the appropriate places in the panel, then strip the ends. Crimp the quick connect terminals onto the end of the battery leads. Land the two orange alarm wires on dry contacts within your panel. Be cautious not to apply any voltage to the orange contacts as this will damage the OmniBeacon. Make sure to verify that your connections are snug. The two yellow alarm leads should be connected to a powered contact. Now land the green wire on your panel ground. Land the white wire on the panel neutral and the black lead on your 120 volt source. Here I'm using the lightning arrestor to protect my OmniBeacon from voltage spikes. Attach the two quick connect terminals to the terminals on the battery, ensuring that the blue wire is connected to the negative terminal and that the red wire is connected to the positive terminal, which is marked with the red indicator. Make sure to clean up your wiring so your panel stays neat. Close the inside of your panel and turn your circuit breakers back on. The OmniBeacon will chirp 
and the internal LED will blink. Once the Omni Beacon has established a network connection, the internal LED will change green. You may now test your Omni Beacon by triggering an alarm. After the 5 second time delay, the beacon should flash and the sounder should sound. Once the condition returns to normal, after 5 seconds, the flashing and chirping should stop. Your Omni Beacon installation is now complete. You will now need to refer to your user's manual to complete your Omni Beacon setup and configure alarm notifications. Please contact our tech support department if you have any further questions.